But the real truth about it is, I wasn't randomly chosen to do that. I had a great track record in locating and pinpointing the whereabouts of people. I was given the number of Midala, um, firstly. I was given <laughs> it nearly two weeks after she went missing. Uh, three, I was cleaning up a lot of mess that the, the, the police failed to do. And to put it in perspective regarding the timelines, it was my second year, my second year of working with journalists at a paper. So I was case driven, not story driven. I was unaware this was for any kind of story. This was a co-dependency project with the police. And I had an apparent belief that I was working indirectly for them. The people I was dealing with was a journalist who was a registered police informer. He and the police trained all sorts of intelligence. So I believed I was assisting his police contacts because they were making hardly any progress in finding her. All that was in my interest was to find her as quickly as possible. My only angst is why I was given it too late in the day when I should have been given it in the first golden hour. My process was much faster than the police at the time and it got rewards much quicker. I didn't delete Millie's voicemail. That happened in the first three days. I know who deleted the message and how, but that's another story. I am writing to the Dallas. They know in their heart and hearts so I was trying to look for their daughter. They know what type of character I am. That's been relayed back through through the channels of the legal teams. My conscience is absolutely clear on the subject, so I'd love to meet them.